Right guys, we have some new renders and leaks of the M2 iPad Pros and it's not great news because there could be a notch and so let's delve into it. So let's actually begin with the renders because these have been floating on Weibo and I'm assuming this is giving us a rough idea of the new design for this iPad. And I can't lie, this is kind of a downgrade because there is now a notch very similar to the MacBooks and of course the Galaxy SA Ultra and to be honest, I'm not sure why Apple would do this. You see, the notch is not a massive issue with the MacBook because you only use your MacBook landscape and so most of the time the UI can do a pretty good job hiding the notch at the top. However, with a tablet, you can use this portrait and landscape, and so the notch is going to look pretty odd using this portrait. Then again, some could argue that most iPad Pro consumers are leaving their iPads on the Magic Keyboards, and I guess that's true, but ultimately this is a tablet, and people are going to use this in portrait or landscape. But also, there's no need for the notch pickers, we don't need thinner bezels with the iPads. Bezels here do actually serve a purpose, since you need to be able to rest your finger somewhere when using the iPads, and so having thinner bezels could cause accidental touches. Now yes, again, good palm rejection software could fix this, but ultimately I don't think we need thinner bezels with the iPads. The bezel situation we have now is fine, and I'm really hoping we don't see a notch. And yes, I'm aware this iPad Pro is the beginning of a new iPad cycle, so of course, giving it a new design would make sense. But I do think we've already hit peak iPad design, so I really hope Apple does not give us a notch just to make this iPad look different. However, I will say that 9to5 Mac did tell us Apple does have prototypes with a notch, and so unfortunately they are thinking about this, I'm just hoping it does not materialise. Anyways, the other interesting change that's shown in the renders is a MagSafe port similar to the one we have on the Max. Now this again is pretty puzzling because when space is so limited with these iPads, I'd much rather Apple get rid of that port and give us another USB-C port that not only is for charging but of course can be for other peripherals. But to have a port that specifically only for charging makes no sense, and while I don't mind it on the Mac because MagSafe is an iconic part of the Mac experience, that's not the case for the iPads. Also, do remember we're getting the other version of MagSafe with this iPad, with wireless charging and also reverse charging, so to include two versions of MagSafe on the same product would be confusing in my opinion. Now the back design we see in the renders actually does make sense because we have the iPhone 13 cameras that was leaked by 95 Mac and while I do think it's kinda pointless, we're getting such good cameras with this iPad, at least it corroborates with other sources. However, LiDAR is missing from the camera bump, which is kinda surprising to be honest, but at the same time, because it's so useless, I don't think anyone's gonna miss it. And also judging by this render, the camera bump might also now match the back of the iPad, like they do with the iPhone, which is a pretty nice change. And finally, the logo has been moved to a landscape position on the back, and this makes sense because, as I said, most type of pro consumers do use the iPads in the landscape orientation with the Magic Keyboards, and so this change does make sense. And that's not the only thing that's moving because we have another source telling us we could see a landscape camera with the iPad. Now, as long as we don't see a notch for this, I would love to see this because, of course, right now the camera being in portrait and having video calls in landscape gives you a pretty ghastly angle that's not great. And yes, I know Center Stage does a pretty good job at kind of rectifying this, but I do think putting the camera in the landscape orientation would be a massive upgrade that many would appreciate. However, I do want to say I do have my doubts over this because do remember there is a strip that charges your pencil on that side of the iPad, and so there might not be space to actually put a camera there on the iPad. And so yeah, maybe that's why Apple gave us center stage because they just can't give us a camera in the landscape orientation. Anyways, the same source also tells us we could see a new purple for the iPad Pro. Now, I do also have my doubts over this because I remember many reports regarding a gold for the M1 iPad Pros, but that did not end up being the case. 
and generally Apple has stuck to Space Gray and Silver for the iPad Pro, so I do think Apple's gonna carry on with that tradition for this iPad. Anyways, apparently cans for these iPad Pros are gonna leak pretty soon because accessory makers are beginning production of their cases for these new iPad Pros, and some keeping my fingers crossed, we see no notch. But anyways, release-wise, it should be October. In fact, German does tell us we should see an October event focused on the Mac and the iPads. So yeah, I do think much like in the past, Apple's gonna release these iPads at the October event. Also do remember the iPad OS is apparently being pushed back to release with Mac OS in October, so I could see the M2 iPad Pros and possibly the iPad 10 release alongside iPad OS. And hey, who knows, maybe we do get exclusive software features for the M2 iPads that they launch with the public release of iPad OS 16, because I think everyone was disappointed by the lack of pro software features the M1 iPads got, and while Stage Manager is a step in the right direction, we of course need more features, and so maybe, just maybe, Apple does launch pro applications, for example, with this iPad and the iPad OS 16 release. And finally, we do also have reports regarding higher prices, and this unfortunately does kind of make sense due to the fact inflation has massively increased, the cost of producing these products, and so Apple's likely to pass on the higher cost to us, the consumers. Anyways, let's delve into your thoughts regarding this iPad. So Frank says, Compared with the iPad product upgrades, I prefer to see the adaption of the iPad software because the performance of the iPads has been surplus and they want pro software instead. And yeah, I definitely understand where you're coming from because the 2018 iPad Pro definitely felt like peak iPad in terms of the hardware, but of course, the software's still behind. And so I'm very much hoping we do see pro apps with a future iPad relatively soon. Anyways, that's about it, but of course, tell me your thoughts regarding these reports in the comments. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out above on details regarding the iPhone 14 series. And on that note, see ya peeps.